Hey everyone, if you enjoyed this video, do make sure to like and subscribe and come hang out with us in Discord. Greetings Draftrick. Welcome to the tutorial on how to enjoy your Draft League experience in the Draftrick server using our own created Draftrick bot. This video will act as both an introduction and a manual, hence I have set up both time marks in the video's timeline as well as time codes written on the right side here. If you have come here looking for how a specific command works, please head to the timestamp directly to get your information. When you are sorted into your league and the DLC has both determined the draft order and the schedule, you will have a couple of commands at your disposal already. Most of these will belong to the MISC command, which will be further explained at the end of the video. Most importantly, the slash create prep doc command will be available from this point onwards. Just start typing the command's name and select it from the drop-down menu. Input your email address that you want to have the sheet sent to and shared to and hit enter to set the command. The bot will take a minute to process and then DM you with your personal prep sheet. This sheet will have all your matchups for the season already and the teams tab as well as the matchup center will auto populate throughout the season as picks and trades are made. Please note that you will still have to accept the ownership of the sheet via the share button. Then you can reload and start looking at your matchups by selecting the first matchup in the matchup center. The second important command in this phase, or for the whole league rather, will be the slash rules command. If you have any rules questions and you don't want to take a look at the sheet, feel free to use the slash rules command and select on which part of the rules you would be interested in. The bot will provide you with the requested section. Alternatively, feel free to always DM your DLC on specific rules questions. Once the time for draft has come and your league has decided not to host a live draft, your DLC will start the draft phase using a special command. This will create a thread where all pick commands will be unlocked and welcome all participants to the official draft phase. The slash pick command will be the bread and butter of every participant. There are a couple of parameters within this command that will be explained here. First off, start by typing slash pick and select a command from the dropdown. Now start filling the pick parameter with the Pokemon you want to pick. It is advised to always use the implemented auto completion for this step as well. Simply start typing and select the fitting Pokemon from the auto completion list. Secondly, tag the give option with either yes or no. This will either send or not send a randomly selected GIF fitting for your pick with the bot's response. These two are the only required commands for a regular pick. The following optional parameters do not need to be ticked but can be selected or filled out to fulfill specific needs. Other underscore team will be for when you have been left with a pick for another team. If you select this parameter, you will be able to select another team's name to make a pick for them. Ketchup underscore pick will be needed for when you have a pass in your team, indicating that you have reverted a pick or have been skipped in a previous round. Catcher picks can be made at any time and do not adhere to any draft order. Terra and Terra type or slot will be needed if your league supports Terra options. Select yes on Terra and then a Terra type or slot at your leisure to pick a Pokemon as a Terra wildcard. Note for season 6 onwards that wildcards can but do not need to be picked like this in the draft phase. You will be able to declare your wildcard to your DLC in a DM before the first week begins without any additional costs. When a command is sent, the bot will perform a lot of checks and respond recording Eric accordingly on the legality of the pick. Please pay attention to the bot's response as it will describe if and why a pick was illegal. If the pick was all good, the bot will respond accordingly to your input and ping the next player in the draft order. The second command for the draft phase will be the slash revert pick. This command will allow you to revert your last pick which will be able to be catched up to via a catch-up pick at any time. Please note that this will only be able to revert your last pick and only if the next team hasn't made the pick yet. Once the draft is concluded, a plethora of commands will be unlocked. Let's start with the trading commands. 
Slash trade will be the command used to schedule any trades during the season. This command is based on the LEGO system and all inputs work of auto completions as the previous commands again. The possible trades are up trades, down trades, regular trades and double regular trades, indicated by how they are set up in the system, written out here. Optionally, all of these trades can also be made with other teams by ticking the right team in the other team parameter. Doing this will notify the player of that team that you have made a trade with them and asking them whether or not they agree to this trade. Similarly to the big command, the trade command will run roster simulations on whether your trades create any illegal rosters and respawn accordingly. If you did everything right, the bot will tell you that your trade has been scheduled to happen on next Sunday evening. Starting Season 6, Terra trades will not be handled by the bot directly anymore. Rather, when you touch a Terra Pokemon with a trade of any sorts, the affected team as well as the DLC will be notified via DMs to reach out to each other to figure out whether the Terra trade should cost the transaction or not. The DLC will then be able to set or schedule a Terra trade with a special command. The slash show my trades command will show you your currently scheduled trades. Please use this command to confirm that your trades have actually been scheduled. Similarly, the delete trades command will delete all your current scheduled trades. There isn't much more to it than that. During the season you will need to schedule your matches with your opponent. Once the time has been agreed on, use the slash schedule to schedule your match. Once again, auto-completions will be used to determine date, time and time zone for the scheduled match. Once the match has been scheduled, the schedule message of the week will also feature your scheduled time now. If you fail to schedule your match by Thursday, a thread will be created for your match for easier communication. On Saturday, if your match remains unscheduled, you will be DM'd and sent to that thread once again. Additionally, newly added is the next week parameter. If you send it with yes instead of this week, your schedule command will be used for next week's schedule, which will help with match times agreed on in the previous week. You may forfeit your match by using the slash forfeit at any time. Please note that DLCs can forfeit any match that were not played or were not attempted to be played by a player. When you play your games, always remember to drop the live link into the league's chat. This will make the bot automatically ping the spectator role for your league. Submit your replay by sending it in the chat. The bot will pick it up, analyze it automatically, and if your replay gets rejected for any reason, the bot will provide context on why it happened. Starting in Season 6, you can add a last week after the replay link, which will let the replay be interpreted for the last week. Please note, no matches can be played beyond Saturday without the DLC's definitive permission. Please use the slash MVP to set your MVP for a given week after your match. Every week an MVP voting will be held for a hell season to determine an MVP for the week. If you do not use this command, you will not be able to be nominated. Now let's get to the miss commands. Slash roster will show the roster of a given team, now also highlighting the Terra wildcard. Slash standings will show the current standings in a nice looking table. It will also take into account the head to head. Slash Pokemon info shows all info on a Pokemon, including whether it has been drafted or to what team it belongs. Thank you for watching and I hope this video was able to give you a good understanding on how to play in our server using the draft rig bot. If you encounter any bugs or issues, please notify your DLC immediately, who will notify me about the incident. And with that, we have concluded my last talking point. I wish all of you good luck in your draft and in your matches. I'll be seeing all of you on the battlefield.